Awo, shalom again, Rastafari. Now, as we mentioned already, we want to introduce some of the new um, books and manuscripts that we have published and also to give a certain idea of why we feel that these, or what we know, um, these books are very important. And also try to put it in a sense of um, priority. Now, some of the other books that we have published, in fact, the uh, Kibra Neges, the Ethiopic text and the manuscript, as well as the dictionary of the Amharic language. The, it has English, Amharic, or Amharic English in the first part, and then you can look at words in English and find the Amharic. Now, there's a prerequisite on a certain level, and that's the Fidel. One must learn the Fidel, our new Amharic um, Bible homeschooling. We've revised and updated that booklet as well. And um, I don't know if I have a copy right here. Probably have to get a copy of that and, and speak on that a little bit. But most of you are perhaps are familiar with our sister wife's her ministry labors and the language and the teaching and, and the Amharic um, 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 online and, and Amharic Bible and Amharic uh, Fidel, the pronun pronunciations from a native speaker, that's very crucial. Now, we've updated the book on that, but here's what we really wanted to get to. The part we want, want to get to is this particular document here and take a... Mm -hmm. This is the Ethiopic Didiscalia. Now, some teaching on this prop perhaps is in order. The Ethiopic Didiscalia. What is the Didiscalia? Right? What is the Ethiopic Didiscalia? And why is this particular document so very important? What is the Didiscalia? Let us give you a little bit of a of an overview to what the Didiscalia is all about. Now, the Ethiopic Didiscalia, first of all, Didiscalia is a ancient, um, we could say a Greek or early Christian word, and it basically means the teaching of the apostles. It's called the Apostolic Constitution. It's also called the Early Church Orders. Now, this is the Ethiopic Didiscalia, which has been translated from the Ethiopic or the Gutas language by J. M. Harding, and it's it's being herein reprinted and republished in the faith, hopes, and expectation of achieving the ultimate goal. And what is our ultimate goal of disseminating our divine heritage and our ancient Ethiopian culture and the root of Ras Tefari. The Ethiopic Discalia contains the earliest and most faithful summary of the received precepts, those precepts, those early foundational Christian teaching, which is at the very root of Rastafari. Some of us may think Rastafari and the whole Rastafari is something new, but when we get into our roots, we recognize this is the very root of Christianity being being resurrected, being regenerated in this very time. But now it behooves us to to build on our most holy faith. And our most holy faith, the Ritua Hymenot, or the Ritamin, the the Rituane Hymenot, the correct what's called in translation Orthodox, but for us it is the correct, the Arita Hymenot, the faith that, that wins, the faith that overcomes, the true faith, that is the faith that prevails, and that is the Arita Hymenot, which is our indigenous word for what is misconstrued as Orthodox. That's a Greek idea. Orthodox means something different than the Arita Hymenote, and even many Ethiopians are not quite aware of that important nuance and difference. In other words, when did Christianity enter into Ethiopia? Most would say 
the fourth century. But his majesty and I and I say what the Bible bears witness in Acts of the Apostle chapter 8. And here we state that the Ethiopic Didascalia, this document, which is, which is a translation, the Ethiopic Didascalia, Didascalia or, or Didascalia, the Didascalia. The Didaskilia, the Ethiopic Didaskilia, or Didaskalia, it contains the earliest and most faithful summary of the received precepts and traditions since the Apostle Philip, Hawaria Philippos, baptized the Ethiopian Hebrew eunuch. As it's recorded in the Bible, in the New Testament, the Hadith Kidan, Acts of the Apostles, Yehoariat Sirah, chapter 8, verses 26 to verse 39. The true faith of the Ethiopic Church of Christos, the Church of Christ, that we know as the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahido Church, is based upon, in truth, the Apostles' Doctrine which is called in the common Greek or the Koina Greek of the first century, the Didiskalia or Didiskilia, is an invaluable source for us. The called, faithful, and chosen followers of the Father and the Son being revealed in and through His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I king of kings of Ethiopia, and our Lord and blameless creator, Jesus Christos. His majesty reminds us all that for my part, I glory in the Bible. So kindly consider that this book here, and we, we, we view that this book is really right up there with the gospel of him in the sense of importance for a newcomer. This is this is an invaluable book for a newcomer. In fact, um, taking from one of the original covers which we re reproduced here for our cover, it says Translations of Christian Literature, Series 4. And it's called Oriental Text. You know what Oriental means? It doesn't mean Chinese or Japanese. It means the East. Look to the East where a black man will be crowned king, in him you will find the Redeemer. And in and through the teachings of his imperial majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, Siyuma Egeziyawi Hernugusnigas Zechopia, do we find the Redeemer, the Redeemer for our souls through the true teachings of Jesus Christ, the true testimony of the faith. So kindly consider this book as a beginning, and for some, for some others, others of the I, them, and you all, it will be a continuation of that journey of rediscovery. As His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I has wisely and so succinctly said, education is the key. And even Christ says to us, Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior, he says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And we have faith that this document gives some of the best evidence for our true and faithful foundations as Ethiopians, as Hebrews, as Ethiopian Christians, as once lost but now found, Beta Israel here in the West, in the Diaspora. So this book has been republished by the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty for the Brotherhood of Christ in His Kingly Character and all of the Rastafari elect. This is a crucial book, my brothers and sisters, and it's written in such a, such a direct simplicity. It gives, it gives ample amount of footnotes for various quotes from the scripture. This is why we found it to be such a key. We've been meditating on whether to, you know, um, 
create a, a, a catechumen or a catechism, like a question and answer concerning Rastafari, concerning the faith. But the Holy Spirit said first to find what has already, first to resurrect that which of our ancient and true past. And this is why we've been reprinting many of these documentation that we have searched high and low for in order to obtain again so that we can publish it again and we can disseminate this to our people and to build that true berry and those true berries. In other words, the next level of this is really to start bookstores and line of Judah bookstores as well as set up libraries, quote, end quote, or what we call Bamarinya Mezgebek Alat. Mezgebek Alat means like a uh, a, a treasury, uh, a treasury of the word, a treasure, a storehouse of the word. That's the, the, the translation of the Ethiopic word that's often used for, quote, library. Because we as Arastafari, we say that the lies are buried there. What well, we often call it the true berry. But when we go to the Royal Amharic in the Ethiopic, we find Mezgebe Kalat, Mezgeb like a, a treasure, a treasury of the Kala, the treasury of the word. And this book is, a, is truly a treasury of the word, and we highly recommend it for the brothers and sisters, and many even of the orthodox Rastafari, because there's many Rastafari who are orthodox in the sense that they may have been baptized in the Ethiopian church or in a particular church family, and if you want to know about the, the roots, this document here, and we're going to soon publish the Ethiopic text to this as well, so we can study the translation, and then we can look at our original and ancient manuscripts. But this right here is an English work, and we think it can get the widest circulation right now since many of us are English speakers until we all grow more to understand our ancient language and the pure language and that is another level of our growth brothers and sisters so if, if the Amharic still is a little bit challenging right now the main advice is don't give up is don't give up study it study the Amharic in tune with the teachings because you study in tune with the teachings and there's many verses here which are quoted and Hopefully, perhaps in our further teachings, what we'll do is utilize some of these main verses and then touch on the Amharic, the Royal Amharic, and compare the English translation with the Amharic translation. But with all of that being said, this book right here is a book that we highly, highly um, recommend because this book is part of ancient Christianity. Is a part of early Christianity, first century Christianity, um, and Ethiopian literature as well. And it helps us, especially as newcomers. Many of us as newcomers, we we've been we've been either born or raised in a Western white Eurocentric Gentile and many different Western Christian denominations, but we don't know of our own true roots our own ancient roots. And when we see the simplicity of the faith that's contained in a document like this, it really clarifies a lot of um, religious, spiritual matters that many of us have been so confused about. And it gives an accurate testimony to the most authentic branch or one of the authentic branches of ancient and modern Christianity, namely the Ethiopic Church. So we highly recommend this work right here, which is called the Ethiopic Didiscalia or the Didiscalia. And there is a preface and certain notes that we also provide in this particular volume here that we, that we have published. So this is another book that you can obtain at the website www.lojsociety.org click on the books link and you'll find this book up there um, 
there's much more we would like to say on this, but for now, hopefully this will suffice. Um, do your own independent research on this, and you will get to understand exactly um, what we what we mean by this. Um, there's a, there's a little bit more to this, but we're going to allow that for one of the teachings and lessons. Now that we have this as a hard copy, no doubt, y'all willing, will refer to it much in the further teachings in the Society of His Majesty. So, especially for the Brotherhood, I highly recommend the Ethiopic Didiskilia, which is the, also known as the Apostolic Constitutions, the the doctrine of the apostles or the apostles teaching and later it became more known as the church orders how do we keep order in a local church and we have to recognize that that is the root for us even and especially as elect Rastafari of becoming as Hala Selassie said the right people he said next time send the right people the people who are in the righteousness of his son, of our elder brother, not in our own righteousness, but in his righteousness. Then we become the right people. And then we recognize exactly what he said. Without him, we can do nothing. But in him, all things we can do for his name's sake. Amen. And our main. So this is the Ethiopic Didiskilia. If you can, when you can, get a copy of it, my brothers and sisters. More to come, Yah willing. Shalom, Ras Teferi.